So as part of a video series leading up to T-Dove, I am getting the perspectives of a handful of people in the trans and non-binary community to see what this day means to them and why it may be important to them. So today we have Ashley Adamson, lovely YouTube channel, trans life coach, all around wonderful person. So Hi. Ashley, <laughs> what does Trans Day of Visibility mean to you? You know, that's a really interesting question, Chloe, because to me, it doesn't mean a lot now. And I don't mean like in the grander scheme of things, I think it's an absolutely necessary event that people need to celebrate and have because we need to have more visibility of trans people. We need to have these discussions around the trans experience and the narrative. But for me personally, every day is trans day of visibility. And so to me, it's just the same as usual. Let's talk about trans stuff. Let's educate people about trans stuff and let's get that out there. So for me, I don't really celebrate T-Dob in the way that I would expect other trans people who are like, hey, T-Dob, like, this is great. Let's get some visibility out there because it's just my default. It's what I do and I do this every day. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. It's like, it's an important day, but personally, it's not really different than any it's other day. It's the same day, day every day. <laughs> it's, like, it's not yeah. like only on March 31st am I out as a trans woman. It's like yeah, every day. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it can be really important for people who are like hiding the fact that they're trans or like don't have enough support. That actually is a great segue to the other question I had is that not everybody can be visible. So I'm wondering if you have any words of support or advice or encouragement, love, affirmation, whatever it may be for people who can't be visible for any reason. Ooh, that's a, that's a hard one. Cause that's very contextual as well, because the reason like, why are you not visible? Is it because you're just afraid? Is it because you're in a place where you're not safe to be visible? Um, are you not visible because you're not sure how you want to be visible? Um, there's a million different ways, but I, um, I think like when I, when I'm at, when I was an operator on the trans lifeline and I was getting calls from people who are like not able to be visible, I think this is the most essential question to answer for them because they want to be visible, but they cannot. And for those people, I say, well, find ways to celebrate yourself and embrace yourself in a way that can be validating. That may not necessarily be visible for other people, but it's visible to you. Um, whether that's like drawing in your notebook about, you know, your ideal version of yourself and seeing that and using that as a totem to kind of call in that feeling of who you know you are and one day will begin to be. Um, or if it's, it's, it's just a, a way you can creatively express yourself or a way that you can even, because everyone can, can see your external world, but no one can access your internal world except yourself. And so there's also like meditation and ways that you can just find space for yourself to play and embrace who you are. And yeah, you may not have the visibility, but you don't need to rely on visibility to validate who you are. You are ultimately the arbitrator of your own validity. And if you do not validate yourself, no one else is going to validate you. So starting there is a great place. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. You're, as you're talking, I was literally thinking like, you know, regardless of whether you're out or not, or can be out or not, like every, every one of us is valid in who we are and our experience. Just my, my closing question here for you is your, what's one of your favorite things about being trans? Oh my God. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> well, okay. So I, I think the first thing there's, I have a couple thoughts on this. <laughs> the first thing that for me in, in realizing I was trans and that I was a woman, it was a catalyst for changing my entire life in a way where I suddenly became aware of who I was and was able to go into the depths of the unknown within me because we all have a universe within and it helped me navigate my universe within to really pull out and tease out all of these magical aspects of my own being that I just did not have access to before. And now I can share those with the world and I can also help other people activate and create that magic for themselves. So that's like one of the most rewarding things for being trans. But personally, 
<laughs> personally, because that's something that I can do for other people. And that is rewarding. Personally, for me, the other aspect of this, I want to say it's kind of like the flip side, like here's something that I can do that makes that's rewarding about being trans. But then the other side is I get to start life over again. Like it's like you, you, I experienced life as a man for most of my life. And then you get used to experience life as a man. And that's just how your life is. But when you change genders, it's like you get to experience life totally differently under a totally different lens. And if you go binary, there's all these social constructs and like ways of being that are very different. I can be so much more direct about my opinions than I could be before. And I can do things that I just wasn't able to do. And I have girlfriends that I can hang out with and just like have a good time. And I never had girlfriends. I just had guy friends. So like I can have sleepover parties. I can cuddle. Like there's so many great things from that transition that has enabled me to experience life in a different way. Going out and dancing, that's a totally different experience. There's totally different expectations of what's appropriate for a cis hetero male versus being um, a non-cis female, <laughs> a trans woman, uh, what, you know, what are they called? What are we talking about? You know, like that experience of putting on a dress and going out and dancing is a very different experience and something that I really cherish. It's like being born in you. It's a new, it's a new lens. It's, it's a new leash on life. It's, it's, it's a reinvention of the self. And that is just a thrilling and exciting reset, um, a large part into my journey, you know, like if I take my life and I double it, I'm going to be pretty old at that point. But at this point right now, I'm kind of in the middle and I have so much more life to experience in such a new way. So it's just, life is just awesome. It's different. It's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more. It's like a whole yeah. new, it's a reawakening. We can just, yeah. we get a new life and it's a life that we actually want. So it's like a win-win. Yeah. It's, it's that song from Aladdin, you know, a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> well there you have it short and sweet got ashley adamson here telling us what trans day of visibility means to her and you know what she loves about being trans we need more visibility but we send out all our love to all the trans and non-binary people out there whether you're able to be out or not whether you're able to be visible or not you know regardless you're valid and you're loved can I say one more thing about that? Of course. Wherever you are, if you're not visible, you're not alone. You're not the only person yeah. that's going through this. And remember that, that you're not alone. And there's ways to reach out to other people and connect with them, whether that's online communities like here, YouTube or Instagram or Reddit, or just calling Trans Lifeline. There's many resources that are out there that you can access and find. And don't be afraid to reach out if you need support. People are understanding. This is one of the hardest things you could possibly do, and you can feel alone. And that's the biggest thing is to not feel alone, to have community that will give you resilience to really overcome your own inner demons. Okay, I promise, nothing more. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, it's like, what do I say after that? <laughs> well, thank you again, Ashley. And thank you all for watching. Tipsy and I will see you all soon. And be sure to leave some comments. You know, let us know what you think about Trans Day of Visibility. Any reactions to anything we've shared today. Always love to hear it. Bye. Bye for now.